Bigfoot, also commonly referred to as Sasquatch, is an ape-like creature that is purported to inhabit the forests of North America. A prominent subject within Canadian and American folklore, supposed evidence of the existence of Bigfoot includes a number of anecdotal visual sightings as well as disputed video and audio recordings, photographs, and casts of large footprints. Some of these are speculated or known to be hoaxes. Bigfoot has become an icon within the fringe subculture of cryptozoology and an enduring element of popular culture. Want to know more? Let's start now. Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. So let's go. But before start don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe and turn all notification on to watch all other amazing stories. So let's go. Indigenous and early records. According to anthropologist David Daigling, Bigfoot legends existed long before there was a single name for the creature. These stories differed in their details both regionally and between families in the same community. On the Thule River Indian Reservation in California, petroglyphs created by a group of yokuts at a site called Painted Rock are alleged by some to depict a group of Bigfoots called the Family. The local tribespeople call the largest of the glyphs Hairy Man, and they are estimated to be between 500 and 1,000 years old. Ecologist Robert Pyle argues that most cultures have accounts of human-like giants in their folk history, expressing a need for some larger-than-life creature. Each language had its own name for the creature featured in the local version of such legends. Many names meant something along the lines of wild man or hairy man, although other names described common actions that it was said to perform, such as eating clams or shaking trees. Chief Michelle of the Enlacopomics at Lytton, British Columbia told such a story to Charles Hill Tout in 1898. He named the creature by a Salishan variant meaning, the benign-faced one. Members of the Lummi tell tales about Semeques, the local version of Bigfoot. The stories are similar to each other in the general descriptions of Semeques, but details differed among various family accounts concerning the creature's diet and activities. Some regional versions tell of more threatening creatures. The Stiaha or Kwi Kwiai were a nocturnal race, and children were warned against saying the names so that the monsters would not come and carry them off to be killed. The Iroquois tell of an aggressive, hair-covered giant with rock-hard skin known as the Ot Ne Yar He or Stone Giant, more commonly referred to as the Genausqua. In 1847, Paul Kane reported stories by the natives about Skookums, a race of cannibalistic wild men living on the peak of Mount St. Helens in southern Washington state. Also related to this area was an alleged incident in 1924 in which a violent encounter between a group of miners and a group of ape men occurred. These allegations were reported in the July 16, 1924, issue of the Oregonian and have become a popular piece of Bigfoot lore with the area now being referred to as Ape Canyon. U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt, in his 1893 book, The Wilderness Hunter, writes of a story he was told by an elderly mountain man named Bauman in which a foul-smelling, bipedal creature ransacked his beaver trapping camp, stalked him, and later became hostile when it fatally broke his companion's neck in the wilderness near the Idaho-Montana border. Roosevelt notes that Bauman appeared fearful while telling the story, but attributed the trapper's folkloric German ancestry to have potentially influenced him. Alleged behavior Some Bigfoot researchers claim that Bigfoot supposedly throws rocks as territorial displays and for communication. Other claims include wood-knocking behavior theorized to be communicative. Skeptics argue that these behaviors are easily hoaxed. Additionally, Structures of broken and twisted foliage seemingly placed in specific areas have been attributed by some to Bigfoot behavior. In some reports, lodgepole pine and other small trees have been observed bent, uprooted, or stacked in patterns such as weaved and crisscrossed, leading some to theorize that they are potential territorial markings. Some instances have also included entire deer skeletons being suspended high in trees. In Washington state, a team of amateur Bigfoot researchers called the Olympic Project claimed to have discovered a collection of nests, and they had primatologists study them, 
with the conclusion being that they appear to have been created by a primate. Many alleged sightings are reported to occur at night leading to some speculations that the creatures may possess nocturnal tendencies. However, mainstream science largely disputes this claim as all known apes, including humans, are diurnal with only lesser primates exhibiting nocturnality. And now we reach the end of the video. And thanks for watching. Out of this world.